Hello everybody, thank you for checking out my channel, the Beer Monster Reviews. It's Beer Monster O'Clock, so uh, let's crack on with it, shall we? This next uh, review is a Belgian beer, and it is a Lef Brown, or Brune it says on the bowl, but I guess it just means Lef Brown. I have tried the Lef Blonde, and I absolutely love the stuff, but um, yeah, I've not reviewed the Lef uh, Brown yet, so... Uh, thought I'd do it, I see it nice and cheap, so why not? Because I only paid 99 pence for this one in home bargains, so that's a good deal, isn't it? Uh, although it is a small bottle, it's not one of them nice big bottles that they do. This one is a 330 uh, milliliter bottle, uh, but for 99p, you can't really complain, can you? And uh, yes, yeah, 6.5% ABV, this one. And I believe it's uh, like a dark owl style beer. Uh, yeah, let's give it a go. I really like the other one, so uh, I'm excited to see how this one compares. Well, it's a completely different style of beer. You know, it's by the same people in it, so hopefully it's good. And uh, it's an Abbey beer as well. And what was it? 12, the year 1240 that they've been going since. So yeah, they must know a thing or two about beer, you'd think, wouldn't you? Let's crack her open. Got one of them sort of bits of foil around the top, which are quite annoying because uh, sometimes you end up drinking it, then you? Right, let's get it in the glass and uh, see what it looks. Very smoky as well. <sighs> yeah, if you've tried this, guys, what do you prefer, this or the Left Blonde? That's if you've tried both. Or what sort of score would you give this out of 10? It's got a nice bit of head on it. Cracking bit of head. Um, Kind of an off-white creamy head for me. It's a little close up of the head. Does look nice. It's kind of a um, mahogany sort of colour. Looks a little bit different. Um, look, well, it looks lighter to me than what is uh, coming up on camera. On the camera, it looks very, very dark, doesn't it? But it is kind of a got a sort of a ready mahogany sort of colour in there for me. Well, let's get the rest of it in there. There we go, plenty of it. Well, <laughs> let's get the aroma. Straight away, I'm getting like a raisiny, uh, plummy sort of smell from it for me. Yeasty, perhaps a little bit of honey, like honey sweetness or something sweet in there as well. A little bit of roasted malt. But not as much as I was expecting, actually. But then the raisiny, sort of plummy aroma kind of is definitely more stronger than the others, so maybe masking some of the other stuff. Anyway, let's see what it's all about, shall we? Uh, cheers, guys. Gosh. It's nice. This is nice. But I prefer Left Blonde. I think it's just the style of beer is uh, more to my taste. This one's quite sweet. Okay, it is quite sweet. Almost like, just tastes like sugar. It's not sweet like from uh, sort of plumminess or anything like that. It's just quite a, it tastes like there's been some sugar added to this, like brown sugar or something. But it is quite nice, but perhaps just a little bit too sweet for me. It's not crazy sweet uh, sweet like some of the stouts I've tried recently, but it is quite sweet. I've got sort of a medium body, maybe light to medium body for me. Definitely getting that plummy taste and the raisins. A kind of sort of dark fruity vibe about it for me. I'm getting some licorice as well. It's quite a strong um, licorice flavour. Uh, to me, it tastes like licorice. It sort of took me a while to figure out what that is, but I think it is. I think it's like a whatever it is. It tastes like licorice to me, anyway. That's what it tastes like to me. I 
you are getting that 6.5 percent with this um the alcohol does give it a, like a slightly warming taste as it goes down your neck has a bit of toffee in here as well it ain't bad it's it's just not for me it's not i'm gonna drink this and i'm enjoying it it is nice but it's it's just not my preferred style of beer, I think. And it's just, I prefer it to be a bit more uh, roasty toasty with the malts and that. Whereas this one, I'm just mainly getting a lot of licorice and quite a bit of sugar, which is taking over anything else for me. Um, that licorice is kind of on the finish. It's got quite a sweet licorice finish to it for me. <laughs> oh, mate. But yeah, it ain't bad, and for 99p, you can do it far worse, believe me. As far as score goes out of 10, for my personal taste and that, I am enjoying it. I am enjoying it. It is nice. I think there's a lot to like about this beer. But it's just a tad too sweet for me, for me to sort of buy it regularly. But I could drink the odd one every now and again, especially for 99 pence, you know what I mean? It's just, I prefer the other one. If, if like, I put this next to the Lefe Blonde. Oh. <laughs> I'm grabbing the blonde one all day long. Uh, but interestingly, the blonde one wasn't in there for 99p, so maybe the blonde one is more popular. Everybody likes a blonde and not a brown. Anyway, thank you for tuning in, guys. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 for me. If you can hit that like button, if you've enjoyed this video, and you want to, go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel and checking out some more of other content. And hopefully I'll catch some of you on the next review. Until then, bye-bye, darlings.